The Second Battle of Zurich was a fierce and bloody conflict that took place during the tumultuous times of the wars of the French Revolution. The year was 1799 and the armies of the French Republic were marching through Switzerland, seeking to expand their power and crush any opposition that dared to stand in their path. What followed was a battle of epic proportions, filled with bravery, tragedy, and sacrifice. The battle began in the early hours of September 25, as the French army under the command of General André Masséna launched a ferocious assault on the opposing Austrian forces. The Austrians, led by Archduke Charles, were heavily outnumbered and outgunned, but they were determined to hold their ground and fend off the French invasion. The fighting was brutal and unrelenting with both sides sending wave after wave of troops into the fray. The French army was confident in their superior firepower and tactics, but the Austrians were well-trained and disciplined soldiers who refused to back down. For hours, the two sides fought tooth and nail, with neither side gaining a clear advantage. As the sun began to set, the battle took a turn for the worse for the Austrians. They were running low on supplies and ammunition, and their troops were beginning to tire. The French, sensing an opportunity for victory, stepped up their attacks and began to push the Austrians back. At this critical moment, Archduke Charles rallied his troops and launched a daring counterattack. The Austrians charged forward, their bayonets gleaming in the fading light, and caught the French off guard. For a moment, it seemed as though the tide of the battle was turning in favor of the Austrians. But then disaster struck. The Austrian attack had left their flank exposed, and the French were quick to exploit this weakness. They sent a small force to attack the beleaguered Austrian flank, and the Austrians were unable to mount a defense. The French troops broke through, effectively cutting off the Austrians from their main force. With their flank exposed, the Austrians were forced to retreat. The French pursued them relentlessly, cutting down any soldiers who dared to stand in their way. The Austrian army was in disarray, and it was clear that they had suffered a crushing defeat. The aftermath of the battle was a scene of devastation. Thousands of soldiers lay dead or wounded on the fields of Zurich, and the once proud Austrian army was in ruins. The French, on the other hand, had emerged victorious, their power and authority strengthened. The Second Battle of Zurich was a turning point in the wars of the French Revolution. It marked the beginning of the end for the Austrian forces in Switzerland, and set the stage for further French victories throughout Europe. But it was also a reminder of the horrors and sacrifices of war, and the toll it takes on those who fight it. As we look back on this time in history, we are reminded of the bravery and determination of those who fought in the Second Battle of Zurich. They fought for their ideals and their nations, and their sacrifices will not be forgotten.